Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Welcome to our channel. We're independent stamping up demonstrator or space in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop. Do use the current host code, which can be found on our website at mitosocrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month. And any extra gifts if your order card applies in the form of tutorial bundles um, designed by the Stamping Glam Squad and Global Creative Project. For March 2022, the tutorial bundles are Abstract Beauty and In the Garden theme uh, from Stamping Glam Squad. And previous tutorial bundles are available from our website as well if you can't uh, order your products from us. So including the mini catalog and celebration inspirations by the Global Creative Project and which is that one? Oh, do it with the SP from the Something Lamb Squad. <laughs> but yeah, other um, tutorial bundles are, are available on our website as well. Uh, we give away the projects that we create uh, so don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to be able to put a comment during the live video and you'll be put into the random draw at the end of the live stream or come back again and pop in a, another comment on the actual video and you'll be put into the random draw for the next live stream. Yes. So, yes. So we've got a few of you here. So thank you all so much for, um, for waiting for us. We, so far, so good. But we are only going to one place. We have I've canned the Facebook, so we are only going to one area. Um, just stick with what we know, and um, we will work the other problems out later on. So so far so good. We give are still here months. with you. Give it a few um, months. So yes, yeah, so we are going to give away this card here. Um, we're going to start so away. Cute. Start again. Give away this card, which I made. The second card, which I made on Wednesday evening with the Easter friends, the lovely. Um, I love the chick right there. Chickadee. Chickadee. Yes, where's that from? I don't know. That's from a... That's from a... I that's, don't know. Um, yeah, sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, no, that's a duck. Isn't it? Quack, quack. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. We just go off on our own little thing sometimes, don't we, when we're talking to you? No, the chick is the smaller one. Yeah, that's a duck, isn't it? Sorry. That's a little chick. Is it? No, it's a duck. Look at the beak. Quack, <laughs> quack. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so we're going to give that card away in a moment. Uh, first of all, um, so if you'd like, if you haven't entered a comment already, then the comment is in the live chat um, at the very top. I have pinned it, so the link to that one. So you can quickly go on that. Just make sure you open up a new tab so you don't lose this one. Um, and whilst we're you're doing that, we will say hi to everyone that has come in already, and then we will pick the draw. And then Jay will be crafting for you tonight. So what are you actually playing with tonight, Jay? Um, random stuff with random. ribbons. <laughs> he's playing with ribbons. So, um, yeah, he's made, he made a lovely card the other day. Or look, probably last, last night. night. Um, and I said, that's lovely. So it's going to be, and I said, that's tonight's video sorted. Yes, it was meant to be for the sun, no, Stamping Sunday blog haul, but I missed the deadline. So, so sorry, so Sarah. Sarah. Uh, Sarah. Um, Yes, uh, but you can check out the rest of the design team's projects using ribbons. <laughs> because yes. I didn't make it. I didn't make the cut. <laughs> anyway, Lovely. let's say hello. So, yes. uh, so we have Sherry. Hello. Um, I think Sherry was going to catch us on replay. Because I think the time difference has messed a few of you up, hasn't it? Because I think some of you, your clocks have gone forward, sprung forward already. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I was, I, was, I was changing two weeks' time, the twenty oh, seventh. Yeah. Um, so that we will be um, an hour later again in two weeks' time. So normal time for those. Yes, who have, normal. That's yeah. normal again. We have Nola. Hello. Wow, eleven forty one. Um, Betty H. Hello to Janice, Valerie, Linda, Lavinia, Sandra. We also have. Mandy, hello Mandy, our Madam Favor Request Counting Commissioner. So uh, pop in a guest already. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I'll be. Uh, we also have Valerie, Jackie Elliott, Maureen, hello. Um, we have uh, <laughs> Herma Linda, and we also have Nani Shasha. 
Thank you so much. Um, yes, fingers crossed. Uh, Kathy S. Anne, hello to Anne. Uh, Bling Bling Crafter, Pat, Car Caroline, Claire. We also have Nita, Debbie, Tanya. <laughs> oh no, where am I? Where are you? Um, you too far. You've already done that one there. So you okay. Can... Have you done Debbie? Yeah, Debbie. Caroline, Maureen, Jackie, Tanya, Sandra, or, um, Sandra W, um, Kathy, Claire, um, Kathy, yes, I'm just going to say everyone here again. Helen, Lavinia, Brenda, Marion, Linda, Heather, Jackie, D, Shah, Lisa, Betty, H, Nita, um, Mandy, Judy. I think I'm just saying everyone here you now, are. aren't I? So I'm just going to prove Anita. <laughs> Gian, hello to Bianca as well, and Mary. Thank you so much for joining us. Lovely. So, good. That was a right mess, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, if you'd like to win this card, or if you've entered the comment in for this card, then you are in a chance of winning this. So let's go over to that, and then we will crack on with tonight's demonstration. So, good luck, everyone. How many more have we got? Any more? Ooh, four, four more. Four more. So, good luck, everyone. Fingers crossed. And the winner is... Lavinia, Lavinia, congratulations. Congratulations, Lavinia. If you can please email us, Barry and Jay at matusacrafts.com. Please pop today's date, the 13th of March 2022, in the subject line and your full mailing address. Please include country um, if you're not in the UK. And then that way I, it's just easy for me to know where I'm, where I'm sending it. So well done, Lavinia. That card is going to be working its way over to you. So... <laughs> There you go, nice Easter card. I'll try and get that one in the post ASAP, so hopefully it arrives to you before Easter. So, um, well, I've got, I've got about five weeks, haven't we? So, good, lovely. Is Easter the same day for everyone? I, yes, I think it is, isn't it? I don't actually know. So, right, I'm going to hand you over to Jay right now, and he is going to be playing with ribbons. <laughs> ribbons, just ribbons. <laughs> yeah, just ribbons. <laughs> Not the tie. <laughs> right, let's see what have we got. So, yeah, there's actually not much stamping on my cards, but we will see. And the ribbon that I'll be using. Oh, did I? Did I not have it? That one. Bear with. I forgot the main ribbon. <laughs> Barris is feeding the cats. So yes, yeah, so the, as mentioned, is what's meant to be for a block hop, um, but I missed a deadline. So I have basic gray. Now I did cut this to our, not our normal <laughs> dimensions, just to confuse you all, um, because I'm using the rectangle stitch dies. I find that our normal dimension, which is the 14.6 or 5 and 3 quarters, is too tall. So I've actually gone down to 14 centimeters, which is 5 and a half. But our width is still the same, um, 8 and a quarter or 21 centimeters. And I find this, this, um, this measurement actually frames the stitch rectangles. It's a nice border and it looks even if that makes sense so maybe that is the future of card sizes <laughs> if you're using rectangle stitch uh, I have gone ahead and pre-cut the rectangle stitch which is we still have the old one but it's available um, in a new number which is there and I've used the fourth one I believe let's have a look see oh no the third one is it let's yeah, so that's the third from the largest in the nesting rectangle stitch. I'll just put that back in smoky slate. And the idea for this is basically using up your ribbons. We, I love ribbons and <laughs> Barry doesn't often use it. We do have a tub, but because I only use small amounts, I'll probably just use small amounts uh, on this one, but I thought I'll, I'll make something up. Um, with these so this one is the early es espresso 
for suede trim. You have the denim ribbon, which matches the Blessings Heart and Home suite. And this one is the Misty Moonlight Cotton Ribbon, Cotton Ribbon, which is a combo pack with the Petal Pink. And this one is from the New Horizon suite. Um, it's really nice, actually. So my first one, I did use the, ooh, what, what you call this die? No, not that one. <laughs> I'm so organized. What's that? Flowers of Home dies, which is from the Blessings of Home stamp set or bundle until the end of June, until June. Um, so this one's got, it matches the do, uh, the stamps and it's got some florists. Um, not as nice as your garnishes, but the flourish is lovely. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so I die cut that one and I did use um, there and day, or you can uh, use adhesive sheets if you know how much ribbon you're gonna adhere onto your cardstock. So this one is fairly simple. We're just gonna adhere the cardstock onto there. Uh, let me see adhesive sheet. Our normal Stampin' Up adhesive sheet have gone walky, so I don't actually know where it's gone. So we still have the old one, uh, three, three which is the Sissix one. So I'll, I will use that one. Yeah, I don't know where the old one has gone. So this one is easier if you want to just do the top. Um, I will sh show you how did you use it? Where's the trimmer? Did I bring it? Oh no, I put it on the floor. My bad. And I'm gonna try. I, I my original I used tear and tape as mentioned, and I flip it round. So I'm gonna see if this is gonna work. I'm just gonna do three point five. I think that should be enough. Maybe less. Three point two, which is one and a quarter. We're just gonna add that onto there. Peel here. <laughs> so I'm guessing I'm peeling one end. This is how how often I don't use adhesive sheets. But it's so easy. You just peel one end. I'm just gonna adhere that. Hopefully it's straight. I can't really tell, but it's okay. And just gonna pull that over and pull that over and we're just gonna lay our ribbons I'm just gonna get the trimmer don't miss on the prowl sit next to me can you because I've got some stuff <laughs> there you go sorry I'm just creating space for Tommy so I'm just gonna take that off yes or take your big tool now with the tear and tape it's easier because you can do it one at a time um, so let's see how this works and this one doesn't always transfer all of it but most of it is on there I will just oh my gosh not do that all right I will just add that underneath for now on one side just because 
I don't want it to stick where I'm working. So I'm gonna first use the misty moonlight if I can find the end and we're just gonna wrap it why am I shaking <laughs> I have eaten so wrap it around eyeball it That's just getting in the way now. So, and then cut it. And then I'm gonna add the denim next to it, or you can even overlap it. Um, I'm just gonna do it next to it. Mandy says, just burnish it first and it will work like a charm. I don't know what that's in response to, but um, I missed your, must have missed your comment. Ooh. I do, burnish what? There you go. So I'm just gonna add and change up with the full suede trim. I'm hoping I had an idea after doing this card, so I'm gonna do it live. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's see. If not, we can give away the original card. <laughs> so once you get the hang of it, it's easy. Ooh, it's just about, that's good. And it kind of reminds me of like denim trim or like side trim. Randy says the tape, the peel and stick tape. Ah, uh, oh, thank you. I did not know that. <laughs> there we go. So it's nice and covered. I think it's okay. So my idea was. There wasn't much stamping. I have die cut these and I doubled this up as well. But I'll share that on, on the next card because I'll try it on the next card. But I pre cut that. That's double up, double card stock, which has just been die cut. So my idea was to actually emboss <laughs> on this. I know that I've, I've stamped on ribbons before. Now we can probably stamp in craft white ink, but I think it's gonna leave like it's gonna fade. So what have we got? We have white. Where should we go? No, that's clear. There. You okay? So fingers crossed. Has anyone done this before? I'm just adding, <laughs> making sure it's not gonna go anywhere else. And because I've used the blessings of home there, I'll just use the coordinating stamp, which is a floral stamp. Um, so I'll, I'll probably just stamp one of these in Versamark. Why am I reaching? Now because, now you can cover all of it up and so you won't have kind of like, um, contaminate the smoky slate cardstock. It feels like it's the same width uh, height. The denim is slightly smaller than the, what you call it, or thinner than the faux suede. That one feels 
the thickest but we will see but i'm sure if it goes over on the smoky slate it'll be fine right it'll be fine so i am pressing hard i doubt that it will go where i want it to go or even stay where i want it to stay but we can try there's no harm in trying <laughs> my main it my main concern was it's gonna go like that see but nice I'm gonna I quite like it that it goes over I'm gonna do that just gonna finish that up flick 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 Ooh, we'll see there's some fibers that's like sticking out and because that that's got a, a gap but we will try it hi Kim, hmm? okay. hi, Kim. right I'm gonna heat emboss that now um, cover your ears I should have done my sentiment because I'm gonna heat emboss it later as well but I'm gonna heat emboss now <laughs> really work as intended because I think it melts into the ribbon but it kind of like leaves a mark like uh, the craft white ink which I don't think it's um, it's gonna be the same can you pass me the craft white ink um, I just want to try it please so you can see the difference And I can see the difference because I haven't actually tried it myself. But I quite like it. It's le it's left the it looks like chalk. To be fair. Thank you. Wank. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna see if this will work instead. I'm just gonna do it at the front. Why not, hello? I'll do it at the back. <laughs> Wimp. <laughs> Wimple. See, it, it, it is there. But I don't know if that's going to dry. Right, I'm just going to dry it a bit with craft white ink because I, I know it comes, like, it dries really light. So I'm just going to heat to it again. So on the suede, it works a lot better. On the denim, it doesn't. On the cotton, it looks okay. So if you don't have the embossing powder, I guess you Man, can... It's just come up with a good idea there, maybe. You seen it? Yes. It will be... Brighter. brighter oh brighter sorry um 
Yes, that is a that is a great tip because craft white ink um, is it stays longer, stays wet for longer. Um, but if you don't want the mess of like doing the embossing powder, I think craft white ink would do the same. Shall I do uh, Mandy's suggestion at the bottom? I think it's gonna. I uh, I'll leave it. Uh, I'll get you Mandy to <laughs> to do that one. Um, I just don't wanna fill up this image with more stuff on there so i'm gonna just add this on flat and i'll do some more heat embossing with the sentiment because i was rummaging through our draw <laughs> just to see what else we've forgotten um, in our craft draw and I found copper embossing powder and I was like that's back online and it is it's a part of the metallic embossing powder pack set but we still have the old one because they last so long Oops, that's fine. So I'm going to do some heat embossing and also what else have I got? Die cuts. Yeah. So I also thought um, denim, denim jeans, why not use the pocket? <laughs> right. So there is a pocket here. Or you can use the stitch nested dies, but it's bigger. So I thought this pocket would be ideal. So it's small and because I've used this Barry, can you look after Tommy? Sorry. Tommy? Because he's just on everything. I just need to take that off. There you go. I thought he was gonna sit next to me. I made space for him. No, he wanted to sit on where there's actually trimmers and dies. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, I'm gonna use that die, so I'm gonna do my sentiment with You're the Best, here. So I'll do that now in white. That feels... Hmm? No, it's, it's it's the basic normal. Um, memento, um, not memento. First mark. Better than all the rest. <laughs> me trying not to see um so we have <laughs> copper oh thanks game okay. i think it's the same it's the same name right and we, we still have the old heat and stick as well because we didn't use it as much. This small part goes a long way. So I'm just gonna heat emboss, cover your ears. Lovely, isn't it? And I'm actually for sm small sentiments. I'm actually gonna use a guillotine, a cutter, the paper cutter. What is it called? Mini paper cutter, which was one of the free. I want to say joining offer ages ago. Years ago so but you can still use a paper trimmer. Um, I do like this. But it ha it hasn't got 
like what you call it measurements on there, which is slightly annoying. So I tend to um just use if I know it's kind of like is it does it looks right? <laughs> I don't think it does. But let's in embrace the wonk eh? Oh, <laughs> where was it? Barris found the um that is wonky, isn't it? <laughs> it's so wonky. Who's got this and has anyone got it? <laughs> because I just eyeball it. Normally. Until you it's need a sticky notes. Until it's straight. It yeah, probably. Um, there's a sticky note here, so you don't have to bring me one. really bright so sorry but I do it so oh can you do it can you place it and put a sticky note on top but then how would you know it's straight all right <laughs> I don't know I'm just gonna stick it over and you can also take that out is that what you mean, Barry? What's that? Yeah, just to kind of hold it, get to hold it in place, okay. maybe, just to give it so you've got something to hold on to. That looks better. Thank you. Slightly a bit long winded, so sorry, but I just wanted to ask all of you because I, I tend to use this sometimes. <laughs> Until it's more, yeah, that's what normally happens with me too. <laughs> so that's done, nearly done. Um, I'm just gonna die cut this small thing. I will use the mini. Currently, twenty percent off saving, or you can save twenty percent off until the end of March, twenty twenty two. I'm just saying the year. Just in case, you never know, we might still be here years, <laughs> in a couple of years. Hopefully. Um, and... One, two... I need cold stock. So I'm just gonna use Misty Moonlight. I'm trying to... We're trying to use up our in colors. Because as you may or may not know, the new catalog is coming out soon. Annual catalog. And these in colors will be retiring. So if you love them, get them now. Some of them may be selling out already. Yeah, it's, is it going to be while stock lasts only be, now? Yeah, it will be while There you go. For the for the second card, I will use the big one. <laughs> I just wanted to show, so I'm just gonna have that on the pocket there. But before I do that, I will take these off. Now I did use the adhesive sheets on this in between, but I forgot to add a second layer for the back. But oh well, there's always Tombow. So I think like um, using your scraps, like your card, card strips, you can use your ribbons instead as well. It's already like thin, <laughs> right? Oh, I've lost it. It's on the floor. 
right I want that there so I'm just gonna add some on here I will move it across so I can still see some of those I know some will have a will get annoyed with that tiny bit left over so I will take those off Ooh, blobbed and lift that off onto there maybe cover that up that doesn't want to stick the same I will pop it on something heavy before sending it away and that's just gonna get on with dimensional and then we are done after <laughs> nearly 40 minutes <laughs> oopsie so that is there oh no it looks like it's coming off the side I know it doesn't matter but to me it does <laughs> I want it to overhang all right I'm gonna cut you off details <laughs> I don't because it look I want it to look like it's coming out of the pocket but I don't want it over too much that it's not overlapping the ribbons just because I think it's just too the layout will just look silly to me anyway oh I forgot one ribbon that I, I was gonna use <laughs> do you wanna see uh, hopefully you know that you can color your ribbons if they are like light colored I forgot one detail but I will share the original now I'm not adding another dimensional there because it's already got you can add I guess mini blue dot if you really worried that it's gonna pop off but because of the the ribbons it's already heighty <laughs> oh no I pulled there you go. so um, let's just stop down and to finish up I have got the brush metallic adhesive back dots <laughs> and I'm gonna use the copper to match with the copper embossing it, that looks so wonky so sorry <laughs> I'm really embracing the wonk and the, <laughs> with this card <laughs> so two dots um, and that's the first card done with ribbon so Hopefully you like the idea and you didn't mind me um, experimenting. The original card I done on white, um, but I think the I really like the basic grays together, especially with the blues. Um, so that one is the window pane um, ribbon, and it was colored in. So this one, window pane check ribbon. It was colored in just jade, which is the same color as this um, die cut, which is again one of the in color sets retiring um, at the end of May. Yes. Right. What do you think? Thank you. So that. So yeah. If you haven't. Um, pop in a comment yet do pop in a comment and you'll receive this card if you win so uh, let me just tidy <laughs> see it's nice and tidy right <laughs> I'm so funny um, right for the next card petal pink I will do the same measurements as the first oh no not petal pink where's my Crumb cake. I was gonna do crumb cake. Is, it the, is that the one which is on the floor down here? I, I, yeah. 
No. <laughs> I, I got it from. <laughs> Two. <laughs> so we're gonna go 14 centimeters or five and a half and 10.5 or four and one eight. I'm not using the rectangle stitch, but I am using the scallop contour dies. And why did I need petal pink? Oh, that's for die cutting. <laughs> I do need smoky slate, which is I'm gonna, I don't need to cut. So I'm gonna die cut that with the scallop dies. Paris just watching me, <laughs> which is dun dun dun. <laughs> I don't need that one. I had it just now. Oh, it's on the floor. Of course, it's gonna be on the floor. There we go. Because Tommy's on the chair now. He keeps moving around. So sorry, I, I will have to move all of these ribbons <laughs> because it's just not happening today. Um, so yeah, so scallop contours. I find that if you are going to use this one as well, this one just about fits your five and a half, five and a yeah, five and a half or fourteen centimeter. And it's got some kind of like pretty much the same thing on there. But I'm actually gonna use ribbon with this. So I'm gonna die cut that. What else do I need to die cut? Do I need to die cut stuff? Oh, yeah, petal pink. Die cut that with. I put everything in a box, but then I take it out and I don't know where I put them. I've got no system at all. So <laughs> I'm gonna die cut this one. So I'm gonna double that up. So I want to use adhesive sheets. We got loads. I want to use it. Did you move it again? I put it away. Why did you put it away? Well, it was because, sorry, I was... Because <laughs> I found a new one. Oh, okay. You, Barry put away the old one. So we can use that for something else. This is actually the proper one. <laughs> so, will, will you fit? Right, I'm so stingy. I'm gonna... Yes, it will fit. Oh, I've got no nails. What's easier? That way. Sorry, I'm trying to think. I, I, I need to make the most of it, but I was like, it, does it really matter? We got so many. <laughs> so I'm just cutting it the same width as the die twice this time. I don't know if this will cut it actually. That one that's oh, too much. Oh well. And what size are you? I don't want excess. Eleven. There you go, Barry. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with that, Barry? You can you give me your scraps, you can have my scraps. Adhesive sheets. There you go. <laughs> mm-hmm. And this one, the 
this one comes off with the triple one is that right so I'm just gonna add that on this will go back on itself Ooh, there you go or ooh, there it is <coughs> Right. Oh, I'll remember your tip, Mandy. Thank you. So burnish it with your bone folder. Take it off. That, is that right, Mandy? <gasps> Ooh. It's like it's invisible. So, vellum would be probably look amazing with adhesive sheets, right? And so, I'm just gonna, after all that, I'm just gonna fold this in, in itself, because I just want a die cut. I could have cut it already, but I'm lazy. So before I put that through, I will cut it. I just wanted a bit more strength on the die cut because these are quite flimsy. Flimsy die cuts. So for the second one, I will add these. Or do I need it actually? I'm only doing the middle bit okay I will only add to the middle Tommy you keep moving about sorry that's my stern voice <laughs> scary scary <laughs> The flower dice is from the floral flowers of home, which coordinates with the blessings of home stamp set. And currently, it's a bundle. Right, I'm just gonna take that off because I don't need excess. Right. I'm gonna die cut now. Do I need anything else? Let us. <laughs> Sorry, I just wiggled the camera even. Are you alright tonight, Jay? No, I'm not. Because Are you a bit, it's like... You seem a bit flustered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't start. Although I, I've, I've had this card like ready, I, I didn't start prepping until. 22 <laughs> because we were finishing up our waves of the ocean retreat uh, for the UK attendees so um so yes oh sorry wibbly wobbly I keep asking Barry we should Either get a wall, a boom, a boomer, a boom, boomer, a, boom, a wall boom. I don't think it'll work. To see if we can hang our. I don't want to do it on the ceiling because I don't. <laughs> I think um, it's not just Barry. We're we're quite heavy-handed um, most of the time. So I think if we put on the the mobile phone we might take the ceiling <laughs> that's the only thing that's the thing that I'm worried about but I think that the wall should be okay right where's the other die oh yeah it fell <laughs> again so I'm just gonna cut that through now because this is doubled up card you will need to
put it through a few times back and forth or you can just do one in my original I I, I use tombow I die cut two and then I stuck them together using tombow hopefully that will yeah that looks okay all right are you okay you're like hovering you sure it so because of that that may um, I may need to um, I am just gonna cut it anyway because that uh, acts as a sticker backing I believe can I pull it yes I can I won't kick it I'll just pull it there we go now it's sticky right I'm gonna put that aside because it I, I did pull off the sticky bit so that's ready for sticking it's on the tripod so hopefully I'll see it and I'll be going where did I put it so on to anyway this so the idea for this one it's kind of like I opted for crumb cake I'm thinking now it's too dark probably Sahara sand would look better but I'm gonna go with crumb cake I use a different card base the first time and my first now you can use the paper trimmer for this one so I'm basically gonna cut diagonally he says one so one there and then two four five five one two three four five so originally I was gonna do two deep and then five I quite like how far it is so I'm gonna align that end to there uh, actually at least the trimmer for this let's see if it works so two scallop one two three four to the fifth okay so we have one turn it over and I'm gonna do one to four one two three four and this card will you'll need about 36 inches of ribbons so what better way to use up your ribbon <laughs> and I'm gonna use the open weave open weave ribbon this is the polished pink one um, it's like one of my favorite color from the new in color ones or last year's in color but I haven't used the ribbon that much it's quite really vibrant and neony if it, it doesn't if it looks even like magenta madness even so anyway so we need 36 inch of this about 36 inch so you'll have enough so use your trimmer what's that 12 plus 12 plus 12 and we still have loads <laughs> Scissor. There you go. But I was like, this would have been great for in, um, International Women's Day. And I was like, well, I didn't think of it before then. Sauce. <laughs> so I'm gonna. Mother's Day card, Mother's Day card. Yeah? You think? Oh man, I knew I did it wrong. I, I wasn't meant to turn it over. Right, I'm gonna have to do that again. You're right. So sorry. I got so. Um, can you get me some more smoky slate then, please? 
or if you if you cut me one up, that'll be amazing. Here you go. So you need to cut. Yeah. So forget what I've just done. I didn't need to turn it over. I was meant to just cut along there, which was one and four. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> because this one won't work now, because the idea is to create something like that. It can still work, but it won't look the same as what I want it to look. Hopefully, you can like have an idea of what I'm trying to do now. So I'm just, we're just gonna do that. Be whilst Barry's doing that, I'm gonna stamp and the sentiment. So I'm just gonna do what a beautiful day for love. Too small now it's too big but it's fine um, and I'm gonna use stays on thanks and I'm gonna go with fresh freesia just because I don't know how many I've already got <laughs> the three <laughs> Always on the ball, Mandy. Thanks. <laughs> really appreciate it. Oh, can you miscount a few times sometimes? I'm sure please. you actually probably only have four, actually. I think, I'm sure there's one which has been miscounted, but, but that's fine. We'll go with three. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember as well, but I'm sure there's a full thing there, I reckon. It's fine. <laughs> You're not going to agree with me. <laughs> no, of course not. Right, whilst that stays on, just quickly clean it and it should be fine. There you go, it's clean. So, oh sorry Tommy, are you sleepy? <laughs> Rewind! <laughs> what did I say? So the first one, we're going to go two and five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, is that mini? It's no, Suki. What, Suki? Yeah. Suki tends to sit on our computer chair when we're actually on it. Or when we're live. It's like she knows, right? That one. So this one, one, two, three, four. So I just need to cut from that end to this end. She doesn't sit on it. Doesn't sit on it any other time. Any other time. Wednesday and a Sunday whilst we're live. And I'm constantly having a battle with her. <laughs> Get my seat. It's like Tommy knows when we're on Zoom. Or if when Barry's on Zoom. So we're gonna add that on there. And we're gonna use dimensionals. Which is in front of me <laughs> so I will cut some up tiny ones <laughs> like it's gonna make a difference but I'm sure it does <laughs> Once we're here, I'm going to do that one. A few new people. Got Carol Ham who's joined us. Hi, Got Carol. Cindy Nielsen who's just joined us. Hello. Paula as well. Connie is in. Hi, Connie. Fiona. Cindy Tilly, there's loads of names. Here. Oh wow, and Brenton, hi Brenton. Yeah, Brenton's just joined us. Yeah. Tilly Crafts, uh, intriguing is what you're doing. 
Ah. So I'm going to align the cut edge onto just make sure that it's the correct <coughs> way. I've already made a mistake, so I don't want another one. And then this one we must use our take your pick tool quite a bit because that's <coughs> gotten so loose. And this one on this side. So you, I just eyeball it to make sure that it's the correct way or the same height. And now we are just gonna make this up or what do you call it? Tie it up, lace it up, ribbon it up. So from the outside in, this is why I, well, it was easier <laughs> when I wasn't live. Um, you need a lot of ribbon. So just go halfway. And I actually tied it upside down just because it was easier for me. It's kind of like a corset, I guess. A, what's about this? I don't know. <laughs> is, that, is that a thing as well? Connie says, you need a crafting needle. Yeah, I still haven't looked for my um, crochet, crochet hook. Um, so I'm just going to use one and one side. I, so this is upside down, just to let you know. Making sure that that's flat, I'm going to miss one and then go in from top to bottom because I find it's just easier to do it that way than actually do from bottom to up. Hopefully that makes sense. So again, making sure that that's flat and then inserting that, leaving one, inserting that in and pulling that out. And someone, I think it was you as well, Connie, who said um, cello tape or sorry, sticky tape, was it? So I'm always starting from the right. So it looks cohesive and consist consistent. So right goes under OMG and then as soon as that goes I just put it aside so then the left make sure it's flat leave one and goes under see that one looks that one was easier and start from the right Mary's just said wrap some scotch tape or some cellophane that's it yeah the ends, um, I suppose just to strengthen that, would that work? Is that what you're yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. Just to give you a bit of stability. Do you want the cellophane? No, it's okay. I'm, I'm nearly done. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly said yes. And I remember it's a competition. <laughs> I'm already losing. So thank you, Mary. That is a great tip. I'll try and remember it next time. <laughs> Mum's going to look for a, a needle for you, though. But where's all my crochet knit stuff? Probably with all your wool. <laughs> Did you nearly wool. say sugar? <laughs> yeah. Sugar loads of wool. <laughs> I, I, I do love sugar. Um, so that's that. And I'm going to try and tie a bow. And it did take me. Oh. Bye Bianca. Enjoy your dinner. Bye Bianca. Thanks so much for popping on. Come back and watch to see who's won and to finish this card. And because it's at the bottom, I did leave a couple of there. Um, if I put it on top, it's going to be way too high. So I thought the bottom would be better. But 
let's see what you think i think i did it normally when i tie a bow 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 um i go like at the bottom but i think going from the top looping it around sometimes works better Ooh, where's your tail gone come back there you go and it does i always tie it the other way and i, I was tying this forever i, I will neaten this up <laughs> because i will not be happy with this oh it's all right he says still fiddling about with it come on but you get the idea but yeah i tied it over over and under not over <coughs> over that way not under and over if that makes sense under and under so that's gonna go like that and we're just gonna finish up with some oh i forgot another die cut right i will die cut another embellishment where are we Oh, no. <laughs> I think I need another one. I'm sure I brought some gold stuff. Gold foil. Did I leave it there? Wait. Where's my gold foil? I'm so not going to win this month. There's some gold bits here. I didn't win last month either. Do you win <laughs> Do I ever win? Um, let's ask Mandy. <laughs> right, foil. I'm just gonna use the dye, the flower dyes from Flowers of Home. Now we can embellish it, but it's already got one dimensional layer. And if we're gonna send this away, I even think the knot will be quite high. So I'm just gonna use this up. I will save that middle bit there. I won't save the tiny bit here. I'm nearly done. Thank you so much for staying on. And I will just cut. Carol's just come up with a good idea. This design would make a great Christmas tree upside down. Ah. Yes. I, I thought of like sneakers as well, but I don't know what I'm not I'm I'm I don't have many trainers. <laughs> right, let's see if I can do this any better. Because I did cut it wonky. That looks straighter, so I know that that's gonna be straight on the side. And if I do that, am I actually showing? Sorry. So I, I cut one straight. So actually, the paper trimmer with a handy st removable sticky tape is actually better than the cutter. See, I just wanted to show. <laughs> That you need a paper trimmer in your life. There you go. So that's pretty straight. Ow. So. You misled Judy. What? She said she was way off. She guessed zero because you said you were prepared. For the oh no! I, I I wasn't prepared for the um at all. I'm always like not prepared, Judy. Judy, you should know that by now. <laughs> I always try. She trusted you. Oh, so sorry, Judy. Yeah, I'm. I'm not always prepared. <laughs> Take away the always. Oh, I'm not. I'm never. never. I'm, I'm never. So, moving on. Um, finishing up. I'm just gonna take off these backing on here because they were still stuck in there because it is doubled up layers of petal pink I, I can't remember if i said what color that was 
and they're just gonna get inserted in between and because it's gonna be underneath it doesn't matter that you can't see the join or you can see the join or if you do it under under it will be fine it will be fine you won't see it there you go <laughs> and then the next one or you can just leave those in I <laughs> shall I leave this in it takes so long because it's like two cardstock and two adhesive sheets right and then that one if you insert if you pull up one and insert it in the middle it looks like it's there as in like it doesn't matter that you've cut it it's like just there <laughs> Oh no, did I miss? So for this one, I'm just gonna add. So get your comments in if you haven't done so already. I'm just gonna add that on top, top because I am nearly done, honest. <laughs> honest. And that's just gonna go on top. Right, will I? It feels like I'm Mr. Blobby tonight. And that's just gonna go one and a one and a two. My usual. V or two and a one. And for the third one, I am gonna use mini glue dot because I'm just gonna stick that in the middle and then put the middle in now you can leave take if you you can I guess keep that out but because I put the mini glue dot I wanted to cover it and then that that will fly off somewhere um, and that's just gonna get added on the middle there Stick it. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's my stomach. Sorry. <laughs> if you didn't hear it. <laughs> I've just said it. I've just said it. Anyway, that's the card with ribbon. 36 inches of it. Um, and of course, you can cut it down if you prefer. Barry, you're going to come over. Oh, we're going our way. Okay. Come on, Suki. You can have the seat now. And how I'm gonna cut it. So the original I, I used um, basic white. It's pretty much the same. Um, but I forgot the pool party the pool party cardstock and I have cut the sentiment a lot closer. Can you wade through the craft? Yes, I have actually taken a picture when Jay said, oh, I'm tidying up. I took <laughs> oh, a picture. Did you? I might post it to see what you, so you can all see what Jay's oh, no. tidying up is. Um, <laughs> so, I haven't brought anything over to show, so Jay, um, what do you um, want to talk oh, about whilst I get it ready? Yes, um, we had the Global Creative Project. So Jay's just going to go and get you something to show you whilst I put up the, the Wheel of Names. The wheel. For you all so if you've left us a comment in the live chat this evening we will be picking your name from there so good luck everyone Ouch. right so yeah the first card um, is this one so I, th I thought to do a um, manly one even though it's got flowers but we like flowers and to step it up with a bit of stamping on there but I don't know if I've already shown these uh, this one was using the rainbow of happiness but creating the watermelon and garnished uh, with meadow dyes <laughs> uh, a couple of these cards are for the gentleman crafters design team block hop using DSP scrap um, so Barry normally saves them for me and I've just kind of like use small bits you can use them as kind of like 
accents for die cuts, which is there, and this one uses the Pansy Patch Bundle. And I've cut it even more just to create strips for um, interest on the background as well. And I really like this card actually. It, it's got the Expressions in Ink Ephemera frame. And I used the back. The back is like the gold bit, but I wanted the white. So um, that's on the blog. And Brenton's on the blog hop as well. So yes. check it out. So good. All right. So I have got all of your names in here. So we're going to go over to that one right now. So good luck, everyone. And good the luck. winner of tonight's first card is going to be. Who is it? Carol. Carol Ham. Congratulations. Congratulations there, Carol. That card there is going to be working its way over to you. So please email us, Barry and Jay at matusicrafts.com with your full mailing address country as well, please. And pop today's date, the 13th of March 2022, in the subject line. And we will pop that. We will get that sent to you. Yes, congratulations. So congratulations there, Carol. There we go. If you'd like it. That's it. If, <laughs> if you, you want like it. it. If you don't want it. it, then just don't email us or, um, yeah, that's fine. Yes, <laughs> I do like it. Anyway, if you'd love to win the second card. With 36 inches of ribbon. <laughs> um, pop in a comment uh, on the actual video. I might try and condense and trim that sentiment. Let's see if it comes off first nicely. But yes, I Hopefully you like that idea as well. I really like it because I, th I think you can do it for like wedding as well. Yes, yeah, some I, I can't remember. I was going to actually say it, but somebody did say if you were to emboss the the grey, um, you could turn it into like a nice kind of like wedding corset. Mm. So I can't remember who came up with that yeah. comment, but I thought that was a nice um, a nice little idea actually. You could do that in some white, and yeah, you could do some really nice yeah. wedding cards. I wanted with that to one. use uh, very vanilla, but we don't have much, so. I decided on crumb cake. We didn't have much, but we have some. <laughs> no, but we ha we have like one or two. But anyway, <laughs> you have it in crumb cake. This is why we never use anything, because he's just scared to use it. <gasps> well, we've only got one left. You, you don't let it's me not order like we can't stuff. buy any more. <laughs> Lovely. Anyway, thank you so all much right. for joining us. So thank you all for joining us. Yes, we'll be back with you again on Wednesday evening. Yes, Wednesday yeah. evening. Um, same time, same place. Take care, everyone. Have a good week, everyone, and take care, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.